Hello, it's Sarah, and I have some more mosaics, you guys. I'm really enjoying these, and I think I'm going to make, make a few more things with them. I'm, I'm hoping that they'll be good sellers at my craft show. I don't know. You never know, but um, Jean, it, who is Homeschool Mama 4 on YouTube, um, had mentioned a woman named Patty Parrish, and that is her YouTube channel as well, and I had seen her videos, but she does... I think she records um, streaming. So like she'll stream for I think it's about like three hours at a time. Um, because of course when I start um, a new project, I put it in the search bar of YouTube to see other um, ideas like that. Uh, other people who have been, uh oh, Kirby's here. Hi Kirb, hi. Um, anyway. I, so I came across it, but the videos were so long that I kind of would, I skipped through it a bit. Anyway, and then Jean had put it in one of the comments about my videos because it's the same techniques that I've been using. I took Lori Micah's class. I went to a bead fest, and I've shared this before, this book, The um, Mixed Media Mosaics by Lori Micah, and Jean had taken a class as well um, at the Queen's Inc. I believe it's in Maryland. I think she said that because the other day I was making tiles and I just put her streaming video on and just listened as I made the tiles. So it was great. Um, what am I getting at? Here's the thing. I made lots of tiles. I mean, I want to say, let me see if the date's on here. Yeah, in 2012, Lori signed it. So it was in 2012 that I took this class. And then, you know, I got into other things. I think, I don't even think I got on YouTube yet, you know, so put the clay away, but I had made tons of tiles. Let me bring in the project we made. It was like this, I don't know what they call this kind of a, it's a piece of wood. It's like a, I don't know, there is a name for it. Oh, and one of my pieces broke. Let me see if I can go up a little. And I, I believe I showed this as, as well on another video. Um, but this, I'm not thrilled with it, the design or anything, was basically um, all the tiles that I made throughout her class. And really, it's just to learn the techniques. So it wasn't really to... Um, make a piece that made sense or anything because a lot of, in her book she's inspired by lots of different things and and makes a piece accordingly you know so if she's making one for her brother you know she makes it with him in mind so this was just to show us all the things that you can do to make a tile and then she uses little seed beads to grout with and all types of beads to make the tiles as well um, gold foiling um, image transfer, uh, just, I mean, you name it. Her book really covers all of this stuff, uh, embedding metal objects into the clay, also using other types of beads and tiles to fill in. Um, so that's what the class was about. And uh, I had gotten, when I got back to this, making the tiles, I was really keeping it very, very simple. And so, after watching Patty Parrish's video or her YouTube, yeah, her stream, I remembered, wow, there's so much more that I can do. So I got the book out and started making different tiles and also pulled out the tiles that I had made previously as well. So um, along those lines, I'm going to get to what I really wanted to share, but this is another uh, mosaic that I did on one of the boards that uh, Joe... Uh, had found we found in the basement and we just sanded it up um, and I had believe in your dreams was the main idea and then I just kind of filled it but I I had mentioned too that my son said you know mom it's too dark you're using too many dark tiles bring in some color so I definitely looked I mean there's yellow um, orange so I definitely pulled in some brighter color clay also, the, um, the checkerboards. Lori uses the white clay to do these checks um, to bring in white and black. 
Um, of course, I had to add, well, this had swirlies on it, so I put a couple swirlies. These were some that I had made in the class, or kind of like almost after the class. I made these. Um, I only have two of them, three, four. Um, and they're white clay that you stamp on and paint. So I really tried to add a lot more um, of the techniques I had learned in the past. Um, I also added stickles to a few things. Um, and I'm still using the Perfect Pearls. Oh, and the, uh, the um, Inca Gold. This is um, these, let me see, these are, these are actually the scribbles. I used the copper on these teal ones and just put little dots on there. Um, and there's um, teal dots on these swirlies. Um, but anyway, Lori uses all that stuff too. See, I had used some type of stickles. I don't think it was actually stickles. I think it was a scribbles, a glitter scribbles. Um, so that, okay, let's see. I think that's basically it. She also uses, um, I told you, the um, foil. It's, um, what is it called? This stuff. Gold leaf, I'm sorry. The gold leafing. And she'll cover tile with that. And actually, Patty Parish, if you guys are just crafting one day, put that video on and watch her um, streaming. And she just kind of goes through the process. And um, you really can learn a lot because she makes, she's very good with all the different um, techniques that Lori uses in her book. I was just kind of using the mica powders um, and the um, uh, rubs as well, but I'm liking the idea of adding um, other things to my tile. So, but I do like this one, how it turned out. Um, much more colorful, a lot more to look at. Um, and I actually went over the letters with this pen, which is a Faber-Castell pit pen, and it's a bold, so it's a pretty nice tip on that, and it gets in into the letters to make them pop. I really, I think I might stick with my words being black, um, and then add brightness um, around it, and I can still throw in some black tiles, and I'm loving the checks, the checks to make the black pop. Um, I also yesterday went and bought some beads that are just kind of cheesy beads that I just wanted to play with. And I haven't opened this yet so because I, I might return them. I haven't decided. Let me move this over. My battery's blinking too. Um, but I was thinking I can drill holes in the top. I think I would do it on a piece that goes this way. And just put a few holes in the top here and maybe put like two, four, five pieces of wire. I'm going to do it on like maybe the next piece I do. I think I'm going to do it just to add and put some beads up there kind of in the, like the shape of a crown or something. You know, we'll see. We'll see what I come up with. I've done them on my, um, here, I'll go grab my battery's blinking, but I did them on some of these, um, ATBs. So something like that is what I'm thinking. Uh, I just think that looks super cool. So to add that on top of one of these would just be another added. Plus I love beading. I love, you know, I love that anyway. So um, I was thinking I would do that. And I just bought these. These are just glass beads. They were on sale, of course. Um, and these are, these just looked like the projects with all the gold and silver in them. So I figured um, those I would try. What else did I get? Oh, and just some of these type of beads. These are square at, to use as grout lines. Sometimes you have a little gap, and Lori recommends that you fill them with beads as well. So that is that. Now I have one more share. I'm going to go away and come back. Okay, I changed my battery too. So in Lori's book, she also has... She's going to be teaching at Polymer Clay Adventure in April, and I can't wait. So April, I think it's April. Maybe the, whatever. Um, she, uh, oh my gosh, look at this one. It's just a little picture frame. Oh my gosh, I think I might have to try this. 
I like this idea because you can make the shrine. Because, see, I'm not good with the um, image transfers, but I could definitely do that. I'm definitely, Kirby, stop busting in here. She's so crazy. Um, she hears me talking, and she knows I'm up to something. All right, so she makes these little boxes. And I happen to have a couple little boxes, the ones you get at um, AC Moore. I might have to go get a couple more because they were really fun. And these are much deeper. They have lids that just lift off. But this one's called a relic box. If you can see that. Hi, Curb. She busted in. Um, and then she paints the rest of the box, but she just tiles the lid, basically. But I think you could do whatever. I mean, you could probably tile the whole thing. So she's got that one, and she goes through the steps of how you do it, the entire thing. This one's called the jewel box. And again, I mean, she adds this little block with some beading on it. Love it. So I haven't tried that yet, but I'm going to, you know, I'll see what I come up with. And a lot of these tiles are, seem to be the painted ones. So this is kind of along the lines of the painting. And you can see, I mean, look, she's put these little flower dip dots. I love that. Um, and then there's the gold foil pieces as well. Um, and then there's one more in here. It's, oh, I thought there was. All right, I probably missed it. Anywho, got me thinking. And so, of course, I had to make couple boxes. This is the first one I did. Um, this is one of the ones that you get from AC Moore, like I said, and it has this magnet right in here. So it's like, it does have a close, like it stays closed pretty good. Um, I just pulled, I made some new um, stamps. The white ones are mostly new that I used on here. Um, and I used this paint to paint my box, which I thought, I don't know why I was thinking it was a lighter pink, but this is red, actually. It's, a, it's called Hollyberry, not pink at all. <laughs> I glued this, um, the awareness ribbon on there. It's actually a button. Cut the shank off, embedded it in the clay, and took it out, and then baked the clay, and then glued it in after it was all baked, and I had painted it and everything. Um... So see, you'll see some of my, I put an applique bead there. It just fit really well. Um, I had some hearts that I, so I cut that to fit. And uh, I mean, basically the, this one I had already made and it had that red clay. So I, I thought the red clay kind of played with the red box. And this trim was a last minute decision, but uh I, put, I, I really like it because it was new. I hadn't used it before, but I just think the color is so close. It's like a really, I was thinking gold, but then when I, I just like that. I think it turned out really cute, really cute. I put a hope um, tile there, like kind of as where you would open the box. And just added dip dots, different painting things. I added checks, just hand painted checks. I mean, you can do whatever you want to the box. I mean, this actually leads into all the things like I, that I've done with these ATBs. You could crackle your box, you can stamp the box, you can, um, and actually I did, I embossed the box on the other one. These are all the little, um, these are the, the three-dimensional um, uh, stickles and scribbles that you can use. So there's so much that you could do to the box that I didn't get too crazy with it because Lori's were just basic. She had painted them. Um, so, th and then I just painted the inside gold with uh, my favorite, which I'm running out of my Americana uh, gold. So that's the first one. And I did, I did some definitions. This is hope to wish a desire you wish to be fulfilled. Um, so this is kind of a hope box, I think, cause I put hope here and, um, with the ribbon, you know, Elna's on my mind. That's my aunt. So that's the first one. And I mean, I'll, I can show you. Well, they're not very big. I mean, obviously you can see it's only about three and a half inches by three and a half. This one's quite small. So I might go and I put my name in the bottom in gold. I got to sign the other one. All right. So that's that one. Then this is the other one. This one is about two and a half by five. So that's got a nice little bit more um, to room to work with. But this stamp, this, um, sorry, it is a stamp. 
on my nails are a mess I'm sorry it looks gross but I've been working um the uh, this stamp tile was done already and it fit on here perfect and with the teal because I had painted the box this like teal color um, I just thought it fit and I wanted to use it so I just started playing with other tiles that I had um, this and this were already made and I just thought the colors worked well and I painted them and this was some of the ones I finger painted um, I had I went down the basement and looked through my uh, mosaic supplies and found these little tiny purple ones that I thought I'd use because of the purple flowers um, I made some music um, tiles I have a little music stamp and then this has the defin dream the definition um, I kind of cut the, the definition off but um, then some more checks and this one was an older tile and you can see how much more dimensional these tiles are because Lori rolls hers by hand she um, doesn't use a pasta machine to roll um, her tiles so I mean mostly the rest of them are pretty I mean I was hand rolling some of the white tiles because I was using Sculpey 3 for the white tiles because um, it's so much softer and I don't know I had it I had some Sculpey 3 so I used it because the Primo is a lot um, some of the Primo it's really hard to to um, condition so anyway I did the checks along the top I put a love uh, tile there where you open it painted the inside gold again but the outside the bottom I embossed with white embossing powder and a flower um, background stamp and then I just rubbed some ink of gold across it in pink pink and gold I rubbed across it the back I did in clear and I did the pink and um, ink of gold and I just didn't think it popped enough so I did that I tried it on the back first and then I I figured I'm gonna pull the white in from these tiles and I really like it and then of course when in doubt bling it up I had to add I don't know it just looked a little bare on the bottom so I added the black bling and I really like it so those are my two but I'm gonna come down a little I know this is annoying when I oh god sorry um, but I just think I just wanted to give you a better perspective of see if I can I mean you know they're they're pretty small and I had these feet in my stash too so when I go buy more boxes I'll look for other kind of cool things that you can use for feet she uses like they're, they're, they almost look like little dolls or angel bodies with heads um, and it makes them much taller um, this one actually is a little top heavy see it like so I mean it depends what tiles you use and the shape of the box this one doesn't this one's fine because I think that the box is longer so if this opened that well it probably would be but still I mean um, yeah it's a little top heavy but once you put something in it it's fine so they're amazing I love them I'm really enjoying this uh, again it's Lori Micah's book this book I'm sure you can get it on Amazon um, I don't know when it came out specifically but I'm going to try a few more of the techniques from the book as a matter of fact like the that frame with the um oh I don't know what it's called I can't see on here copyright uh it should be right here sorry anywho so anywho I gotta make some more words up so that I can have um I don't know like uh, I want to have oh I added bling to things too I just glued these on glued them on top after I varnished and I did varnish I varnished these pieces because it's wood but anywho all right you guys all right thanks for watching